Hi everyone. A very good morning to you all. Today uh, we are going to see a math problem which is uh, for grade 5 or grade 6 or in Singapore it's called primary 5 or primary 6. This is the problem. There were 40 more boys than girls in a hall. After 75% of the boys and 60% of the girls left the hall, there were 8 more girls than boys remaining. How many girls were there at first? So at first it might look a bit complex, but we go by the basics. First statement, there were 40 more boys than girls. So if you look at here, more boys than girls, what comes after the more than is the girls. So that is our reference. So let's draw a model for this statement. There were 40 more boys than girls. So draw a model for girls. This is, one, this is the box that we have drawn for girls to represent the number of girls. And for boys, it is the same quantity plus 40. So that is the number of boys that we have. Now you can see that there are two parts here. When, it, when they are representing the boys, we have an unknown uh, quantity here. We don't know the value of this quantity. Plus 40, that is a known quantity, right? After 75% of the boys and 60% of the girls left the hall. So what happens then? Let's try to put this down. 75%. We will represent 75% in terms of fractions. Can be represented as 75 over 100, which on simplification gives 3 over 4. Similarly, now when we say 3 over 4, what it means is, the total of this, when we divide this into four parts, out of the four parts, three parts left because 75% of the boys left. This is for the unknown quantity, right? And now we also have a known quantity. So that is three fourths of 40. That is the number of boys who left. So that is equal to 30. So there are two things here of the unknown component. If we divide the unknown component into four parts, three of the parts are, represent the students that left the hall. And from this known quantity, 40, 30 students left the hall. The remaining is 10. Now, for the girls, it's 60%. And 60% can be represented as 60 over 100. Or on simplification, it becomes 3 over 5. Again here, it means we are going to divide this total into five parts out of which three parts leave the class, which leaves us with two parts. Now, you can see that for the boys and the girls, the unknown quantity, the total unknown quantity, the size is the same, but this small unit size here, the unit size of this uh, unit here is not the same as the unit size of this. How do we know? Because the same quantity here has been divided into four equal parts, Whereas here, the same quantity has been divided into five equal parts. So obviously, this unit is going to be smaller than this unit, but we don't know how, mu how much smaller and so on. So we don't know the relationship between these two units. But to establish that relationship, we can take this as a whole and this as a whole and then see how we can try to come with a unit size of the same, uh, units of the same size. Let's go back. 3 by 4 of the boys and 3 by 5 of the girls, right? We have two values, 3 by 4, 3 by 5. And both, this is 3 fourth of this unit. And this unit size is the same as this unit. Here is 3 fifths of this unit. Now what we are going to do is find the LCM of 4 and 5, which are the denominator. Because we want to end up splitting this into smaller units of the same size. So here... 4 and 5, the LCM is 20. So 4 times 5 gives 20. Similarly, here 5 times 4 gives us 20. And when you multiply the denominator with a value, you have to multiply the numerator with the same value. So that 5 over 5 is actually 1, which means the value of this does not change. Again, the same here. We multiply the numerator with 4 so that 4 over 4 is 1 and the value does not change. 
So, this becomes 15 over 20 and here it becomes 12 over 20. What it means here is, see we had four parts in, in the beginning. Each of these four parts we are going to divide it into five smaller units of the same size so that in total we end up with 20 units. So, you can see here we are going to divide this into 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 smaller sized units. So here we had 5 units and each of this unit is going to be divided into 4 smaller units. Right? When we continue doing that 5, 5, 5, we are doing it 4 times so that is 20 units here. Here 4, 4, 4, 4 and 4 so 5 times that gives us 20 units as well. So, this is how we once we do this now we are able to compare them easily and out of this this is 75 uh, percent which is the number of students who left right out of 15 out of 20 left. So, 15 units left. So, we are left with 5 remaining units. Similarly here 12 units have left. So, we will be left with remaining 8 units here. So, now we could go back and apply this. So, for the unknown quantity we know that we are left with 5 units for the boys and 8 units for the girls. <clears throat> so, you can see here boys what is left is 5 units plus 10 plus 30. We know that this 30 is the number of students who left for the known quantity. So, we will remove that. Now, for boys what is left is 1, 2, 3, 5 units plus 10 and girls it is 8 units. And it says after uh, the 75 percent of the boys and 60 percent of the girls left the hall, there were still 8 more girls than boys remaining which means the number of girls is more than the number of boys and that is after, in, that is after this 10. So, to represent this 10, let us put this in a box, right. And you, I just put a slightly bigger box to differentiate fit this from the rest of the units because the sizes may not be the same, but we do not know yet, yet. So, the girls is how much more? 8 more girls than boys and that is from here to here. So, that is 8. And from here if you draw a line you can see that from here up to here these 3 units that is going to be equal to 10 plus 8, right. So, that is going to be 18. So, 3 of these units is equal to 18, 1 unit is 18 divided by 3. So, 1 unit is 6. Now, we have found out that 1 unit is 6 and earlier we have also realized that girls had a total of 20 units, right. So, if we forget about the number of uh, students who left, originally boys had 20 units plus 40, girls were 20 units and we know that each unit is 6. So, number of girls is 6 times 20 which is 120. So, the number of girls present at first is equal to 120. Hope this was helpful. Uh, we went through a slightly longer route to understand how we do the LCM and all that stuff. But in general, if you do not want to go through that route, let us just summarize what we did. If this is a, a problem, we again go by the same thing more boys than girls. So, girls is our reference quantity. So, we draw a model for girls and then we draw a model for boys. And it talks about 75 percent of the boys, we know 75 percent means 3 by 4 or plus 40 as well here. And so, we are going to divide this into 4 parts. Here we are going to divide them into 5 parts. And to make the unit sizes the same, what we are going to do here is divide these into 4 each. So, total 20 units. Divide this into 5 each resulting in 20 units. And now we are going to separately find out 75 percent or 3 by 4 of that would be this much left. Right. So, how many units? Minus 15 units here and minus 30 of the known quantity. That will leave us with 1, 2, 3, 5 units and 
the known quantity is 10. For the girls, we know 60% would mean uh, 12 units will have to be removed or they left. So we are left with 8 units here. And after this, for the kids who are left, there are 8 more girls than boys, which means up to here is 8. Right, there's a gap here. So total is 10 plus 8 is 18. So 3 units is 18. 1 unit is 18 divided by 3, which is 6. So the total number of girls is 20 units. That is 20 times 6, which gives us 120. So this is how we solve the problem. I hope this was helpful. Next, we move on to see how we can solve the same problem using algebra. There were 40 more boys than girls. The same uh, logic applies here. Girls is our reference. So we will take the number of girls in the hall to be x. And the number of boys is 40 more, so x plus 40. And after 75% of the boys left, so minus, oh sorry, uh, and 60% of the girls left the hall. So for the girls, minus 60%, which means the remaining is 40% of x. For the boys, 75% left, so it's going to be 25% remaining of x plus 40. Now, at the end, we know that there are 8 more girls than boys. Let's write down girls and boys. So, there are 8, right now there are 8 more girls than boys. If we were to make them equal, girls and boys, because we need an equation here. So to make them equal, what we need to do is add 8 to the boys section so that the number of girls and the number of boys would be equal so that we can come to uh, create an equation here. So number of girls is 40% of x is, and here boys is 25% of x plus 40. And to make them equal, we had to add this plus 8 as well. On simplification, this would become 2 by 5 of x, and that is equal to 1 by 4 of x plus 1 by 4 of 10, 40, 1 by 4 of x plus 1 by 4 of 40, which is 10, plus 8. All right. So now we want to remove, uh, bring all the x terms to one side. So that would become 2 by 5 of x minus 1 by 4 of x, which is equal to 10 plus 8, which is 18. Now, this here again, the same. We are going to find the uh, LCM of 5 and 4. So here you are going to multiply times 4, times 4, 4 times 2. Here becomes 8, 8x over 20. And here it is times 5 below to make it 20 and on top times 5 so that becomes minus 5x over 20 which is equal to 18 that is 3x so 8x minus 5x over 20 equals 18 so that is 3x is equal to 18 times 20 x is equal to 18 times 20 is 360 divided by 3 so x is equal to 120 so the number of girls present at first, which is equal to, if you see here, number of girls is x actually, so the value is 120. So this is how we solve this problem in uh, algebra. So hope this was helpful. If you have any questions, doubts, please uh, post your questions, comments in the comment section. Do not forget to subscribe and like the video, share it with your friends. Have a great day. And if you have any more questions that you would like me to solve, please let me know. I will try to get to you as soon as possible. Have a great day. Thank you and bye.